Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 11 of my full platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls, Scholar of the First Sin. Right, we're just going to purchase a couple of things before we head to the Iron Keep, or just Iron Keep, I suppose. Uh, we're going to get the Flame Quartz Ring and Small Orange Burr. There is also the opportunity to purchase a Pyromancy called Flash Sweat, uh, so you may want to do that. The reason we're doing this is we want to get our... Uh, fire defense as high as possible. We have to go and run in some lava to get a pyromancy and uh, It will kill you very quickly unless your fire defense is really high. So buy the flame quartz ring which you can buy here and Then also buy one you should already have one we have purchased uh, We have found one already but a small orange burr there as well uh, and then she also sells the flash sweat pyromancy. So if you do, if you are using pyromancy and you have the pyromancy flame, uh, then you can also use that as well. But I do it without. You don't need to do it with it. So, but what it does is it's a pyromancy that increases your fire resistance as well. So that's it for now. We'll also be buying some armor as well later. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to head to Iron Keep and uh, get started with it. So you can see there, there's an item on the the sort of lava there, and there's one right over there. We're not getting those two, but what we are getting one inside the keep, uh, the Chaos Storm. So the most the most of the enemies in this area are these Alon Knights. They're very easy to take care of, especially if you've got the Butcher's Knife. It should just be three hits, and they're done. Uh, that's what the most of the enemies are. Uh, they're, they're pretty quick though, so do be aware of that. Uh, but as long as you have your shield up, they can't particularly hit that hard. So what I'm doing here is, I know there's actually nothing down here. I'm trying to get a, there we go, a dark spirit to uh, spawn in. There are two here. We're going to kill both of them. So the armor of Dennis, who is the most difficult of the two. Uh, he seems to do a lot of rolling. It's just annoying. <laughs> but usual NPC sort of stuff with these spirits just... Uh, Shield up if you can get behind them for a backstab. That is also not is not working here. Uh, also very helpful. Sometimes it's best to just go for it, which is what I'm going to do. It's, it's usually the best tactic with these guys is just go for it. There's only certain ones where it's not a good idea when they have uh, the sort of strength build ones, the ones that look like Havel, if you know, remember Havel from uh, Dark Souls 1. Uh, we will be taking on quite a few Dark Spirits in a certain video shortly. Uh, in maybe three videos time we're going to take on a lot of them um, yeah in the sort of dark yeah it's <laughs> we have to go and do three dark areas that lead to a boss yeah there's there's lots and lots of dark spirits we need to take on and some of them are really quite tough and then the boss at the end is tough within itself so uh, yeah get used to fighting them <laughs> so yeah the reason I've gone and sat down there is to get the get my butcher's knife back up to scratch again. That's not going to work if you hit that can uh, that <laughs> that post there. And then I'm going to get the other one to spawn in. So you don't want these to spawn in if you're going through the door and fighting the enemies ahead of you. So I'm trying to get them to spawn in again. Just run around a bit. I, I don't know why, but it seems to work if I run up and down these stairs. There we go. It's just what I think helps anyway. Uh, there's Fencer Sharon. Should be able to get a backstab if you're quick enough. Or backslam as it now is. Uh, and then she's a lot easier. Or he's got to be a she, right? Sharon. Uh, this I've not actually had cast on me before. It slows me down a lot, which is quite annoying. But there's no defense here at all from them. So you can just kind of go for it. And I do. <laughs> she can actually get you out of nowhere. Look at that. That came out of nowhere. Um. Yeah, she's quite easy. Not much in the way of defense at all. No shield or anything. So I'm going to go and sit down at the bonfire again. Once again, to get my uh, butcher's knife back up. And uh, just to get that health back as well. So I did say with, when I got the butcher's knife that it uh, it degrades quite quickly. And it does. So don't, get, don't worry, I'm not going to keep running back and forth to bonfires all the time. That's not what I'm going to do. But I do know there's a big stretch now where there is no bonfire. There are a lot of enemies, however, so I'm going to be using the weapon a lot, obviously. So it's going to go down pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, that's why I've just sat down there. Of course, I have repair powder. You'll want to make sure you have some as well. Uh, we will pick some up shortly. 
but uh, it's always good to have repair powder on you and also have a we've still got the fire long sword if we need to what we don't want to do is break this weapon because you'll have to go and fix it at a smith so yeah lots of alon knights hit the wall then that was not the best idea there is an arch up to the left hand side that's the guy who's getting me he, he's dropped down he doesn't always drop down sometimes he kind of runs around a bit but again very easy just three quick hits from these guys that item there we will get we do need it's a key uh, we will get it but right at the end of iron keep you can turn all the fire off so you can come back quickly and just grab it nice and safely uh, yeah you'll die <laughs> don't run into the fire this guy here sells some very good stuff and eventually when we bring back something back from it, it's a petrified dragon egg uh, he will let us join one of the covenants so for now just talk to him look at his wares and we want to spend 10,000 so purchase the jester's cap weirdly uh, I know the dexterity needed there is low but what it does is it increases item discovery which we're going to be doing in the next video we're going to start the farming and we're also going to purchase this branch of yore because um, I haven't got any so why not uh, and then I'm also going to just purchase this dark hail uh, hex here just to get it up to 10,000 uh, you could have also purchased the um, repair powder as well but as long as you spend 10,000 you're good and then go to the talk option He's going to talk for a while and then give you the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring plus one. So that is extra item discovery as well. So we're pretty much set up um, for, the mo for the most part to uh, start farming for um, Sunlight Medals. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. I'm going to show you... I have already showed you where to do it. We're actually going to start working on it. Uh, I'll probably do sort of ten medals or so. In between each video, uh, I will explain when I have done it so that you know that my uh, my soul count has gone up or what have you. Um, yeah, so I want to make sure you, you can follow along. So yeah, quickly run up here, get this Faris Lockstone, and then we're just taking a quick... It's not a shortcut at all, this, at all. It's just a funny. <laughs> you can get 20 fire arrows, and then there's a, a ballista here you can shoot into this guy's back. <laughs> there's no reason to do this. It's longer. But why not? He's going to drop his armor here. Yeah, that's obviously not going to happen you, for you, potentially. But we do need to fight Sir Alon eventually as well. He's one of the uh, the bosses from one of the DLCs. Probably the best boss fight. One of the best boss fights in the game, actually. But we do need to fight him, unfortunately. He's hard, though. He's, he is a tough one. So quickly run down here and drop down here. There are archers, there's one up there and then there's one over there who will try and hit you. Uh, these guys are going to just run at you constantly. They will hunt you down regardless. So there's going to be the one that comes from down here and then there's going to be two that drop down from directly ahead. So just stay down here until you've got all three of them. We're going to be hitting a switch down here anyway. Whatever you do, do not open that door. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a furnace in that, that middle building is a furnace. You can see there's fire coming through the windows. Uh, can you see? Yeah, there's a bit of fire there. Uh, yeah, do not open that yet. We can go through it later, but we need to turn the fire off first. So I'm just going to run back past here. And get this archer out of the way. And this extra one here. And there is an archer off to the left, so we'll just go and get the, uh, the items near him. What do we get here? Some great arrows, I think it is. Yeah, iron great arrow. I've got... No, I think it's a strength um, bow anyway. So we probably can use it, but they're so rare, the arrows, that it's not much point. These things, these urns here, are filled with, wa with water. We will actually be using those later because you can um, cover yourself in water and it actually helps with uh, fire damage. And we will be using it, well, fire defense. It will up your fire defense. So I'm just going to quickly run up here. We're going to get the life ring plus one which uh, gives you more health if you want to wear that as opposed to the the one that I use the fragrant ring that just gradually gives you health these guys are actually quite tough um, if you let them if you run in it should just be four hits if you're using the same setup as me uh, if not they have kind of a yeah that that sword they have it really hurts <laughs> and it's very quick it's very very quick they're able to just unsheath it and hit you 
pretty damn hard out of nowhere. So I'm just going to run over here and drop down and get these items. Red leech troches. Troches. I don't know how to say that word. I really don't. Troches. It's got to be right. Uh, they help against bleed damage. Give you bleed resistance. Uh, never going to use them to be honest. Never going to use them. So there should be one that runs at you this way. And he did see another one run across the top. Uh, he actually retreats back, so I do look for him because uh, I want to make sure it's clear. But he doesn't drop down at all. But there will be at least one that will. And there's an arch over there, so watch out for him. No, he's not bothering. So you want to hit this uh, this wheel here, and that's going to turn this furnace off, this fire off. This is going to be our way through, especially in New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus. We do have to come through here. Uh, and we're going to do kamikaze runs just to turn that off and run through this area. You can see that there is a fog there. That is a boss fog. The smelter demon. Uh, we're not going to go and fight him in New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus. But we are this time around. So yes, grab that then. That was Petrified Dragonbone. Especially if you're using the same one as me. That's going to help. So watch out that you don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these six things here. Uh, they apparently explode. I've never noticed that before. But this is the, the the way we would normally go, just to carry on. But we will go a different way, do the Smelter Demon, and that's going to open up a bonfire. We're going to not bother with the bonfire at New Game Plus and beyond. Uh, we'll just do a backup save. Get to a safe area, do a backup save, and just work it that way. Just means we have to fight fewer bosses and enemies and things. But it will mean kamikaze runs. So I have hit that other switch which has made this bridge come down flat now. Uh, whatever you do, do not run to this left hand side first. I completely forgot about the two Alon Knights behind me. Uh, yeah, this is close. Yeah, I get stuck here. Oh, this is close. I'm trying to circle them to get a free path. There's also an archer dead ahead of me as well. That was also very close. So don't do that. Look to the right hand side first, get those Alon Knights to follow you back across the bridge and then fight them. But draw them over, here we go, there's just one which is good. Kind of actually, kind of wish both had come but uh, never mind, just one will do for now. Yeah, there's archers and they, they, they have the large bows which is the problem. So you can see that there is actually a summon there as well. Uh, that is for the boss. We will be getting them, but just don't do it yet. We're going to do a backup save because we're going to do a bit of a kamikaze jump, and then obviously we want to save before the boss as well. It is Lucatiel. We have already defeated three bosses with Lucatiel, so once we get to her sort of end point in the story, she will give us her equipment. Uh, so we're just going to do this one, this fourth one as well. So we just need to do that for Lucatiel and Ben Hart. We've already done one of Ben Hart's, three of Lucatiel's, there's four each, and this is the fourth one. So what I'm going to do now is quickly do a backup save. I would definitely advise that you do the same as well. Because we're going to be jumping this gap trying to get this dragon, uh, petrified dragon bone. And you may fall off the end, or just not make it. So do a, <laughs> do a save. That was close as well. Uh, should have angled that a bit better. But yeah, that's all I've come across for, because it's obviously an upgrade material for what I'm using. I'm going to climb up, get the Tsvai Hander, which is a weapon people do like. Uh, it's, a, it's a heavier weapon, so I'm not too keen on it. And there's also a lock there as well, but don't bother, it's just going to pour out a load of water, we don't need that. And uh, yeah, we're ready to do the Smelter Demon boss, who is not too bad. It is one of the tougher fights, especially in later New Game, New Game Plus uh, and beyond. But what I'm going to do is actually going to put the Flame Quartz Ring on, because why not? Extra fire defense. Uh, it's going to be better than uh, the Fragrant Ring in a boss fight, that's for sure. So yeah, you want to make sure Luca Teal survives anyway. Just make sure she does. And then you've got four out of four, and you definitely got, uh, got it all done. Because we're not coming back here. So he is fairly simple within with his attacks he is big he's slow ish uh, you can just sort of circle him for the most part 
Uh, he has certain attacks you do want to avoid, obviously, like the swing is quite a bad one, but Lucatil should take most of his, uh, his attention most of the time. When he does these sort of charges, the first time he does it, his, uh, his, his mid here will sort of explode. <laughs> uh, when, you, when he does it, you can't really do much damage to him. Now, when he does that slam with the sword, sometimes he will do sort of a charge burst AoE attack after he's done it. Uh, sometimes he won't like he didn't, did then. Uh, this second time he's going to make his sword uh, a fire sword, which is obviously going to hurt and the reason we have the ring on. Kind of stuck at this point here. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, so he's not doing the charge again. And then the one time he does do the charge, I'm not paying attention and walk straight into it. So my... Um, there he is, he's doing it. No, he's not doing it. No, he's not. <laughs> so my uh, butcher's knife is nearly broken. Then here's where he's doing it. So he's doing the charge. You can tell when he's doing it. He's, he takes a bit longer. Uh, butcher's knife was running a bit low there. So I've just repaired it with some repair powder. There, he's doing it again. So you can tell when he's about to do it. He takes a bit longer. And uh, yeah, just take your time with it. It's You don't need to really... You can see how Lucatil's fine. She's only got sort of a... Uh, a third of her health down and we're nearly done here but she does she does a, a, a little bit of damage but she's more of a distraction more than anything for this fight so that massive blast then it didn't really do much to her either but straight after this there is a bomb fight and that's why we're doing this and there's also going to be a fight which is probably harder than the smelter demon to be honest uh, in this area, when we come back, we're going to fight a Pursuer here, which is completely optional. It is just to get a single ring, but it is a ring I do like, the Ring of Blades plus one. So it makes us output more damage, so that's why I want to get it. But again, it's completely optional, and we'll come back to that in a minute. So I'm going to switch back, put the Fragrant Ring on, and we'll go and uh, light the bonfire. And then we're going to go and purchase the Smelter Demon's armor, which is the, I think it is the highest of all armor, um, has the highest fire defense of all armor sets. Uh, it's definitely the highest I've seen. And here, so this bonfire you would miss, you know the ladder we saw before, we went through the furnace and we, we didn't actually go up the ladder, but there was a ladder. Uh, this is where it would bring you out, um, and that door doesn't open from the other side, so you can't use that bonfire if you don't beat the smelter demon so I've just done him now this time mainly to go and get this and the ring again he is still optional at this point so here we go it's quite a lot quite expensive to buy everything almost what are we on there about 35,000 nearly 40,000 for the lot so you should have enough to buy them. Just crack a few uh, souls if you haven't, but obviously don't use boss souls. And I should have enough. I do have enough to go plus four now. But then I need five more petrified dragon bones to get plus five. Get there eventually. But with this, the plus four and then the ring of blades, it's almost two hits per a long night now. Instead of three. Almost. If I double hand it is two. Now we'll go back and go and take on a pursuer. So we have fought a pursuer kind of before. Uh, you remember the pursuer boss. It was the second one we ever did. Um, yeah when it first spawns in you should be able to get three easy hits on it. This is the attack you need to avoid the most. Whenever he's going to do that just back the hell away. If he gets you with that it's, just think of it as like a grab attack. If he gets you with it. He is going to curse you and you won't be human anymore and your life will drop. So yes, do watch out for that. What we're doing basically here is trying to get him to do the charge attack, which is that attack. Go underneath his uh, sword arm and then hit him with a, an attack. If you can, depending on your weapon, you might be able to get two attacks in, but be aware of your stamina. You do not want to burn out on stamina. That is the most important thing. Uh, yeah, so if you back away, he has more chance of doing that attack than if you're up close. So yeah, I'm going to start getting a bit cheeky and going for double hits here. But this is arguably harder than the Smelter Demon, to be honest. <laughs> it definitely takes longer. 
and it's all for a ring of blades. So if you can't do this and you're not bothered about the extra damage output, then don't, because you don't need to. So don't worry about it. But I do like the ring, so I'm going for it. Uh, start, start losing the rhythm a bit here, but yeah, definitely avoid that of all costs. Definitely avoid that attack. The others aren't too bad. This is a good one to do if he does the one with the air. You should be able to get a couple of hits in there as well. His little triple combo. But yeah, we want to force that charge attack mode, this one, by staying away. Get a couple hits in, so he's actually staggered here as well, a little bit. Sometimes it's not worth going for the attack, like I didn't then. It's because my stamina was really low. I wouldn't be able to evade anything he sent my way afterwards. Uh, when you're double-handing as well, um, it would actually be a good opportunity to use the, the Blossom Shield, the one I've been levelling up. Uh, because that regens your stamina quicker and I will actually switch to that shield for good at the end of this video or towards the end of it because I can get it up to plus 10 so I will start using it plus 10 in a shield is not necessary it really isn't it is it does increase all of its uh, its damage protection and everything it's all of its stats but not by a lot not as much as sort of uh, upgrading a sword or anything would but uh, I need to get it up there, and uh, to be honest, I've got the up upgrade material spare, so why not? And then we're going to go for the finish. There we go, so it does take a while, but just stay patient. Try and force that sort of charge attack by staying away from him, and uh, you get the Ring of Blades plus one, which is better than the normal Ring of Blades. It, our uh, damage is increased by almost double I think if I remember rightly I think it's I think the first one is 20% and the second one's 35 I believe we're not gonna there is a plus two version as well but it's in new game plus and it is hidden by two pursuers so probably not gonna bother with that one uh, I think that takes you up to 50% something like that uh, yeah just for now just as long as you get the plus one that's that's fine you can just Finish everything you need to do with that. So you can see I'm almost, almost at two hits with these guys. One, two, little bit of health there. So if I increase my strength uh, a bit more, then that will that'll be fine. I'll be able to double hit them with two uh, shots and kill them. Do not try and block this guy's attack. We know we can't do this. But he's trying to smash through the floor there. You can see it's a little bit crumpled there. Uh, he's If you just leave him, he'll smash through the floor and run off. But get his attention and uh, force him to come after you. Uh, because you don't want to run through that door and then fight him because there's more enemies in there So yeah, just do the normal the normal thing with these guys is hit once back away hit once back away And then if you know you can go for the kill go for it There we go Very simple of course double hand as well uh, Yeah, so if he has broken through watch out there will be a, a hole in the floor there and you'll have to jump over it So yeah, he will always run across this alumni. night. I can't reach him <laughs> There we go. Uh, so there are archers and there are other turtle guys up there, but we're not going up there just yet. We're just going to go through here and use a Pharaoh stone, and it's going to open up uh, Belfry Sol. Sol. The Sol and there's Luna. I think this one's Sol. Yes. And this is going to be our next video. This is where we're going to uh, go here. So we're going to start in the next video, it's going to be Belfry Sol. Do not drop down here just yet and get that bonfire, we will come back for it. Uh, if you drop down there you have to go and finish uh, Belfry Sol to get back out, or warp to the previous bonfire which means the enemies will be back anyway. So don't do it just yet, we will go, but I'm just going up there to get that, uh, that ring which pr provides extra lightning defense if you need it. But yes, the next video will be Belfry Sol, Belfry Luna, and farming how to start, where to do it, and because there are two lots of farming we need to do. So don't hit that switch that was down there just yet. Come up here. Uh, it, it's actually better to come up here and fight them while it's uh, safer. There is an archer down to the left. There is also a crystal lizard. You'll see it just scurrying down the lava there. Uh, and he's now behind this kind of archer here. If you can get him, fine, great. If you can't, don't worry too much. I don't go for him anyway myself. Uh, you will notice that there are three switches on the floor here. You can see one, two, and then there's a third one just there. This third one's actually quite hard to dodge, but if you stand on it a lot, which I'm going to do now by accident, you can see I was not on that switch. But anyway, I hit it, 
um, the lava is going to pour. So that happens three times if you, uh, for each uh, switch, and it will stay forever. So uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go and get an item using all of the armor and stuff before that I've mentioned. So do a backup save for definite here, whatever, <laughs> and then derobe or don't derobe, but drop or oh, not drop, but put away your weapons, put the uh, the flame quartz ring on. And then we're going to put on the uh, the smelter demon armor. It is a very heavy armor, this. So that's why I got rid of the uh, the weapons. We want as little as possible. You could probably get rid of all the rings. You didn't need extra as well. So all the extra armor there. That's extra fire defense our way. And then I'm going to just equip a. Um, so we should have some. Uh, Elizabeth, you should have one Elizabeth mushroom. Or some old radiant life gems. I'm going to use the Elizabeth mushroom, and then I'm going to have the small orange burr as well, and then we're going to go for it. So the idea with this is, so I'm just going to clear this out so I can get some items. The idea is the orange burr gives you fire protection. These um, pots give you fire protection because they have water in. The smelter demon armor gives you fire protection. Uh, so that's what, and then the, the ring obviously does as well. So I'm going to use the small orange burr. And then I'm going to use the Elizabeth Mushroom, which gives you constant health. You can see it regening the whole time. Uh, and then I'm also going to have the Estus Flask as well. So when I run, run to the end, hit Estus Flask, open the chest, hit Estus Flask again. And then pick up the item, which is Chaos Storm, a Pyromancy, the only place you can get it. And then we're going to run back. I'm going to just Estus Flask again. And there's another item here you can grab if you want. Fire Seed for upgrading your Pyromancy Flame. But don't worry if you don't need that, don't bother. And uh, yeah, we're clear. Whew. If you can't do it, your fire defense is not high enough. Um, you can also use that flash sweat pyromancy that I mentioned before. Uh, go and purchase that and try again. But you should be able to, with everything we've just got there, be able to make it. Just time your heals. Uh, so run across to the chest, heal, open it, heal, run back, heal. You should be fine. As long as you've got that Elizabeth mushroom or an old radiant life gem, healing you as well the whole time you should be fine if you didn't have any fire protection you wouldn't make it about three steps without dying it's uh, it's pretty it's a lot <laughs> so uh, yeah finally we've got that that's good to get that out of the way at this point I usually do this later but uh, we kind of work towards it I can't find my shield <laughs> it's down there at the bottom there we go Watch Dragon Palmer. So I will switch to my Blossom Kite shield shortly as well. I could actually do it at this point, to be honest. Uh, if the lava is here, you will need to jump. But um, going the other way, watch out for the switches. And then we're actually there are switches along. You see the dark sort of running here. You can see there's a switch in the middle of each one. Unfortunately, he charges for me. Uh, you can see there's a switch there as well along the dark edges. Uh, so do watch out. Enemies can stand on them as well and it will drop each of the four sort of quarters I miss with this hit <laughs> I can't believe I miss with that one, that first hit never mind but we're just going to clear out first this is one over there and we're just going to quickly hit the switch he's going to drop and there's an archer here which is you can easily hit the switch with this one he doesn't move at all so bye bye <laughs> and then I will just hit this uh, this other switch down at the bottom here and explain what is up there but I'm not actually going to go up there there's a ladder to the left there uh, we're going to carry on through that fog in a minute but I will show you here that there is a switch which will drop that first uh, Alon Knight down if he was still there but he's not it basically drops the whole, whole middle section down uh, and allows you to get up that ladder here so there will be another archer if when you drop it as well and then fire so these are intermittent so you can run in between these and through and then there's a ladder here which we're going to climb I'll show you what's up here briefly I will kind of explain it I'm not going to do it myself 
Uh, there are a couple of Alon Knights up at the top. There's a chest at the back end that has arrows or bolts in. You will get invaded. Uh, if you go up the other ladder at the back, there are a few items. There's a Black Knight Great Sword, I believe. One of the Black Knight weapons is up there. And then eventually you'll drop down the other end, which I'll show you on the other side of this fog, which will give you the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring regular. We already have plus one, so we don't need it. There is a, a good tip, is use fire against enemies. It works great. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just let him run into the fire and go through this fog. Yeah, we have um, plus one. You can't stack Covetous Rings or any rings if you have a plus one version and the regular version, you can still only just wear one. You can't stack them up, so we already have plus one with no need for the regular one. Because we uh, spent 10,000 with that merchant at the beginning. So there will be an Alon Knight up there. So that's why I kind of backed away, let that first one come in. And then if you look up, uh, sort of, wait, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> there, just there, there's a pot. You'll need to drop down, so you can see there you drop down, that's where you would come down. And then the the Covetous Ring is on that sort of pot. But we don't need to do that, so we're not doing it. Bit narrow in here, but you should be fine. Just force him to do an attack, roll away, attack, roll away, you get the idea. Should be fine. And then there's a guillotine here. Now this is important that you do this is you want to bring this guillotine up and you want to run watch the corner there's a guy there run all the way back past the guillotine because it will drop again and if you get stuck so what I'm trying to do is actually make him stay there but he backs away at the last moment unfortunately uh, it will really hurt him if <laughs> he stays there you can hit him over the top of it just watch out for his attack uh, yeah you could get trapped on this side on the opposite side should I say uh, with him and have nowhere to roll back and that could be a problem so make sure you get on this side of it this time we do actually get him trapped in it come on there we go splat right we're almost there almost there the end of iron keep get used to this place we'll be back here well, we'll be back quite a few places, but this place is, uh, trying to run through this place is not the easiest for sure. So intermittent fire again, we can just run straight past this, leave that item for now, it's the lightning shortbow. Uh, we're going to go and turn all the fire for the whole area off, all those sort of bursts of fire, which allows us to get that key from right back at the start, I told you we were going to get that item. These are fine, you can just hug the edge, it won't get you, uh, which is good because in New Game Plus, and New Game Plus Plus, there will be a... Um, a black phantom up here and you can just use the fire, run around in a circle and kill them. Hit the switch that's going to turn all the fire off and then use this bonfire what I was supposed to do was actually sit at this bonfire to fix my weapon but I did not so I'll do that in a moment unfortunately I'm going to have to come all the way back up I'll drop down see everything's turned off now Allowing us to get the, the lightning shortbow. And we are pretty much done. We just need to go through the uh, where this turtle guy is and run down to the boss. But because I have forgotten to fix my weapon, I'll have to just quickly go and do that. You can see that there is a summon to my right there. Uh, this boss is one you do not want to bring a summon in. There is no reason to do it. No reason. Um, his attacks are not really aimed at anyone in particular and um, you don't want to just increase the the life for no reason the other person will probably die very quickly or just not do much damage there is no point having another person with you um, so yeah I'm just going to quickly go back up here and uh, fix what I should have done before and uh, yeah then we're going to do Old Iron King which is the final we're going to hit the final primal bonfire and at that point I would say we're kind of mid through the game. Um, the back end is probably not as, as long, I just kind of say the mid point because it feels like it is as you're going through the sort of story. Um, but because we have to do the DLC and things like that, unfortunately, um, yeah, it kind of is the midpoint. So I'm switching to the Blossom Kite Shield now, that means my stamina is going to regen quicker because I know I'm going to double hand 
so I don't need the protection from it. But after this, I will actually upgrade it to plus 10 as well. So unfortunately, I do need to kill this guy again. So you're there. There, I honestly would not bring a summon in. You'll see why in a moment. So quick stamina regen is definitely uh, preferable to stopping more damage coming in. I think it's definitely better at other things than this shield is. And I think it's lighter as well. So it's uh, going to allow me to move quicker. I would usually equip it beforehand. But uh, it, the other shield is actually quite good for reducing damage. So do a backup save. Because um, there is a chance of falling in lava here. So if you don't want to... If you are human, you want to keep your human form, then uh, yeah, do that. And uh, yeah, in we go. So he's going to come towards you if you stay here. That is the only other place, so beware if you're dodging around. That there, that pool is there. Uh, this is the attack you want him to do the most, because you can dodge. He will leave his arm completely open and uh, allow you to attack. And it's just a case of watching his attacks and dodging. So swipe, dodge through. He'll do a slam to follow up. And then give you a massive opening to get a load of damage in. So you can see what I mean. Having a summon just really doesn't help at all. So there's another slam, which is a good one. Sometimes he'll do a follow-up slam with the other arm when he does that. Be be aware of him. Might do that. That he might do that. So got that. I don't think I roll through this one. I try and roll here, but it just doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I, my my finger slipped. Whatever. Um, yeah, this fire attack here is fine as long as you just walk. If he's positioned where he is right now, just walk to this right-hand side. Dodge through. I'll also show you a, a safe area in a moment. There we go. Nearly done already. Yeah, so this this is a big slam. You need to get kind of away. I didn't quite make it far enough because it, it does have an AoE to it as well. Don't make it. Never mind. Gives me time to show you this safe place. So if he does do fire, you can always hide into this this bit here. Uh, the laser hand will still come through the wall, though. But any sort of fire attack like that will not hit you if you hide here. But if he does that laser palm attack, this one, that will go through the wall and still hit you. It's kind of it's not really laser; it's lava. One more hit. Look at that. <laughs> He's got no health left. Give me that. And there we go. Right. Nice and simple. The old Lion King. Just uh, take your time and don't roll too soon. He does have very slow wind-ups to his attacks. Grab yourself some petrified something. And then we'll go to do the final primal bonfire. That will scare the crap out of you if you don't know it's coming. <laughs> it did the first time I did it, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, just speak to him. Exhaust the dialogue. This is part of the story. Uh, I won't tell you who it is or what is going on if you want to kind of experience that for yourself. But yeah, exhaust the dialogue. Just keep speaking and then he'll disappear again and you'll be able to interact with the bonfire. This is an entrance to one of the DLCs. We'll do that later. That is the uh, crown of the Iron King. I think it's called that... Um, that's uh, one of the difficult DLCs, the most difficult one. The one we need to fully complete as well, unfortunately. The other two we do not. So I'm just going to travel away and then I'm going to travel back to Iron Keep. And just go and get the Iron Key, which is going to give us access to um, one of the memories later on that we need to go to. It'll all make sense once we uh, get further into the game. But we do need that Iron Key, so we'll just go and grab it now. Nope, thought he dropped something. He did not. So you will probably get attacked by three. One will come down the stairs there. One will come downstairs and through that doorway to the right. But again, you can see now I'm double hitting these guys. Uh, two hits, dead. That is because I'm uh, two-handing the sword, uh, the axe as well. And uh, yeah, just grab the iron key. 
So yes, we definitely need that, so make sure you go and get it. And uh, yeah, we're done. So let's count this as the mid part. So the next video is going to be the two souls, uh, the two belfries, should I say, belfry soul, belfry luna. Uh, then I'll show you the farming pattern where you can start doing that and uh, fit it in in between videos so you, you break up the monotony because it can take a while. You're talking a couple of hours each place we need to do. Unfortunately, I, I, there's not much we can do about it, I'm afraid. We have to do it this way because online is dead. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to walk back. I'm going to fully upgrade the shield I'm now using. You can see when I, as I'm upgrading it, watch the sort of numbers on the right-hand side go. The, the blue numbers, they don't increase that much, but it is some. So I don't need these materials for anything else. So uh, I'm just going to do it. Get it plus 10. And then I'm going to level up. Points into strength. I'm just going to check what she's got for sale now. She has... What do we have? Uh, yes, yeah, she has some large titanite now as well. If you need that for any reason. And then uh, leveling. So strength. Vitality. Vigor. Get everything up to 20-ish and then go past on the strength. That's pretty much it. I'll go Vitality 20, Endurance a bit more now and again. And then Strength just to make my weapon hurt more. And that's it. So that's it for this video as well. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.